Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I will show you when I change this short rustler into this longer rustler. And why did I do that, you ask me? Well, it's a beast. I have this eight scale motor, the Max 6 ESC, I believe. It runs on 6S. The battery looks like this. It's a beef pack. So the weight of the car is pretty much, but with the power it creates, it doesn't really matter. And as you guys can see, the tire has exploded. And that is not due to some crazy accident where I kept the throttle on while the tire were up in the air or something like that that you usually see. That was just from running on plain ground full throttle. In a later video, I will show you when I run with this b****. But in this video, I will only show you when I make it longer so it is controllable with all this power because as it is right now, you cannot use the throttle. It will just flip around. So that's why I wanted to change it. So now I'm gonna run you through the whole process in Fusion, how I draw it and built it. Uh, if you are not interested in that kind of stuff, you just wanna see me mount it and the results, you can skip forward a bit. So this piece I did not intend to use. I just wanted to make sure that I got the holes right where I put the screws. So I just measured out the distances and draw it up so I could print something out to put on the car and make sure that it was correct. It's a good way to not waste plastic on making a whole piece and then have to change it. And of course, I nailed it on the first try. Right here, pretty much the same thing. Did a piece, made sure it fits the bodywork of the car because I wanted to have it sealed from dirt and everything getting in the gears. So what I have done here is that I had split up the body in two bodies and then I hide one of the bodies. So I had a copy of the first piece I made, this, this one. So I had two copies of that in Fusion because this also shows me where I should put the holes in the back piece since I'm doing a long piece that has the same screw holes in the front and in the back I could use the same measurements to make sure that it fits the car to print the whole piece in the right thickness with the right material that's a bit more expensive. I used the XPLA, it's not to be confused with regular PLA, it's much stronger. And I used 9 perimeters and like 50% infill, so this is a real sturdy piece. However, the first one I printed out, I printed in this direction, with the layers like this. What ended up happening was, I broke the mount for the bodywork off. This is the replacement for the, the thing I moved back, that the, I mount the body on. So that's why I had the car taken apart today and I take the opportunity to make this video for you. Now instead of having the part printed like this, I laid it down like this. So I still keep the strength in the layers from front to back. And I also get the strength up in this part with the layers like this. The strength in sideways doesn't really matter that much because the bodywork of the car is holding sideways together. So now I will put on a time lapse when I mount this and uh, the car will be all done and you will see how it looked like. But I will not drive it in this video. So make sure that you subscribe and I will drive the car in an upcoming video and I promise you it will be a fun thing to see. I used the regular drive shaft for the back wheels. This is an old one that I don't use for the wheels anymore because this axle is too soft so it keeps bending when I run into stuff. Alright, so this part is just as usual, a grub screw. The good thing is that the axle for the clutch is the same diameter, 4 millimeters, So it fits the rear axle like this. So what I did was, I just drilled the hole in the axle and it fits. No problem. And on the other side, I cut the threads off and just like this axle is not quite round, it's flat on the sides. I just made this axle flat in the same kind of way, like this, so I could fit that in the rear axle. And then I put some o-rings here 
and here just to keep the axle in the right length to keep this pushed into the back axle yeah that's pretty much it And there you have it, mounted. And here's with the bodywork on. Wait a second. And as I said before, the reason for me to make this car this long is because with the power it has now with 6S, the original length is just too short. I cannot give it full throttle, it just makes a couple of flips backwards. I have driven it like this, I just had to change that part because I broke it. So therefore I showed you guys while I was mounting it and everything. But I have driven it like this and trust me, I can almost give full throttle now. And it's real fun. I will show you in an upcoming video. And I will also build a camera mount to place on the bodywork so I can have my GoPro on the car while driving. But that's another episode. Boink, 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 boink. All right, thank you for watching. And as always, if you like this type of content, subscribe and you won't miss out when I drive with this one. And also when I build the camera mount and all the other stuff that I do. Bye bye.